वेलकम टू दिस फ्रेंड्स वी नो दैट दिल्ली को अक्सर दिल्ली बोला जाता है एंड देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु लव टू टेल अ स्टोरीज ऑफ दिस सिटी एंड आई वांट टू टॉक टू वन सच स्टोरी टेलर ऑफ दिस सिटी हु मे बी बोर्न एंड ब्रॉट अप इन इंग्लैंड बट हिज हार्ट लाइज इन दिस सिटी एंड ही स्पेंट अराउंड 17 इयर्स इन दिस सिटी लर्निंग मोर अबाउट दिस प्लेस एंड फॉलोइंग इट अप विद एवरी सिंगल थिंग एंड इन फैक्ट ही फॉल इन लव विद द सिटी सो मच and the person of the city so much that he married and stayed on and has continued to love the city and to tell tales about the city i'm talking about this particular influence you might have seen one of his viral reels which talked about the full form of the ina market but before i add more to the story i think we should hear it more from him namaste and good day we are on the ai market in chalikpuri at the australian high commission Now unlike many of the embassies like commissions that all have these big perimeter walls what the Aussies have done is as you can see super cool they created these amazing murals they threw over a wreath of brown an indigenous artist from Australia and she worked with the Aravani collective which is a group based here in in India and they painted 15 of these amazing murals what do you think and i think i want to learn a bit more about it. So let's start with the dog. Dog, 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 So whilst Australia was populated about 50,000 years ago, and the Aboriginal people from Australia date back to that migration, there was another more recent migration, thousands of years before the Europeans arrived, and that included some genetics from India and included dingoes. And the other theory also actually connects the dingoes with India, but a little bit further back in time, potentially through the Indian wolf. So on the plains of India, you get these grey wolves who are a bit skinny. They look like the indigenous dogs. And it may be that actually it's the Indian wolf through Southeast Asia that becomes the dingo of Australia. So there's an iconic connection there between Australia and India, and there's so many of them. Above our heads right now, we've got minor birds. You must have seen the minor, sarica. So that's an invasive species in Australia. So Australians see minors everywhere. Black kites. Again, we've got black kites flying above our heads now. You get those birds both here in India and also in Australia. Ah ah! Yes, that's good timing. Right. So, what, who are the national birds then, Tina? Peacock and emu. Peacock and emu. It's like mayor and the emu. So, do you know about emus? I don't like this, but I. Okay. So, my friend Alistair from the Australian High Commission, he's going to come and meet us in a moment. He told me an amazing secret about the emu. The dads do all the parenting. Now. I'm a dad. I love my daughter, but I certainly do not envy an emu uh, because if the dad's doing all the hard work, that's really impressive and progressive. So I think that's one of the reasons why the cooler emu according to the national media. It certainly is. Yeah. So. Next USB is connecting nuggets of information with the immediate and contemporary, making his reels extremely relatable and fun. We got a chance to watch him at work as he explained why simple trees are important and the significance of the murals. Spending a day with the print, he demonstrated firsthand what makes his content so fascinating. Oh, uh, one of the fun things about the city at this time of year is all of this wonderful silk cotton, like cotton wool. And this is from the simul tree, and look at that, one little seed inside of cotton wool, and that is its dispersal strategy. It floats through the air, and when it comes to land, hopefully a new simul tree begins its life. Uh, we've got a kangaroo here, absolutely iconic animal of Australia, fantastic. And this, oh look at this, look at this. That's what I need right now. It's still quite early in the morning, and I could do with one of these. What is it? It's a flat white coffee invented in Melbourne, Australia. And so many Indian students have travelled to Australia over the years. But There's a uh, hundred thousand and more in in Australia right now, and many of them learn how to make a flat white and bring that craft back here to India. So I think we should go for another flat white, don't you? 
He has teamed up with Alistair Campbell, who works at the Australian High Commission and drives around Delhi in his brightly coloured electric auto. Nick took a tour of Khan Market, talking about Vegemite and Australian wine. He also stopped at Bahari Sun's booksellers to talk about a new book on the ties between the two nations and ended it with showing us what an Australian avocado looks like. Australia and India signed an economic cooperation and trade agreement, which means that there is now about $40 billion of trade going on between the countries. And one of those exports from Australia to India is wine. Do you have any Australian wine? Yes, yes. Okay, please, can you, can you get me a bottle? Okay, so Australian wine benefited from this uh, uh, trade agreement because it reduced the tariffs and they're declining over the next decade. So it's going to become cheaper and cheaper Thank every year. Thank, Australian wine. Thank you. So here is a bowl of Australian wine. It's called Mornington. It's from southeastern Australia. It's a Chardonnay and that's uh, about 1,200 rupees. So there you go. Australia wine available all over India and cheaper every year because of the free trade agreement between the countries. So we're not arrived to uh, do some breakfast to learning more about flat white coffee. I think I have had like a wonderful lesson in getting to know more about the connect and friendship between India and Australia. But I think more than that, I got a chance to know more about how Nick looks at this city and how he has been trying to create content that tells you more about the city that you already live in. But he has that USP of probably knowing that added twist that we probably never think about or link to it. Of stories, please do follow the print. This is Hina Das reporting with video journalist Myra Khan. Thank you.